Hey everyone, it's Ashley and today I'm going to be doing a video. This is a quick video tutorial on how to accomplish a specific type of project. Thank you so much, Ashley, for asking as well. Ashley is one of the members in our Cricut Mug Press crafting group. If you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and make sure you've joined and I'm going to be placing this video up in that group as well as on YouTube. So let's go ahead and we're going to talk about her specific problem that she was running into. And it's something that if you haven't crafted with the Mug Press yet, this is a definite skill that you need to use uh, with the mug press. So we're going to start out with a blank project. So I'm going to go scroll down here. Um, I've currently logged in and I'm in the projects window. So if you're in Cricut Design Space, you can select projects. And when you scroll down, you'll see the mug design setup. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. And then it's going to ask us which type of project we're working on. Um, you can select it by the size of the project and also by the edge that you would like. So say we're going to go with a small straight edge mug. Um, we'll go ahead and click on customize. It's going to bring us to the project window. And her question was, how does she insert another design into this? So um, she wants to insert a design and then also change out the color so that one color is on the background and one color is for the design. So. Um, I'm going to show you how to do both. So we're going to go ahead and select under images and let's go ahead and pick something that um, has kind of a, a fun, easy design to work with. So let's say we're working with this. I'm going to go ahead and click insert images. And when you take your image over, you're going to want to size it to whatever size you'd like. So in this case, I'm going to size it to about that size. I'm going to duplicate it. So if you want to duplicate, you can right click on it and click duplicate. Or you can also go up to the top here on the right side where it says duplicate. If you're using a mobile device, that'll be on the bottom of the screen here where the duplicate button is. But um, basically the essence of the mug design is this is essentially what the wrap is going to look like. You have a section where you have the um, background for the transfer sheet. And then there's a layer here that tells you the placement. So this is basically a placement guide. So you know that this is the left side of the mug, this is the middle, and this is the right. And these are the points where it would be centered. So we want to place our design where it's going to be exactly centered in here. So I'm going to center that on. And I'm going to do the same on this side as well. So I've had that centered. When you're ready to um, work with it, what we normally would do is take our um, section here, this layer on the top where it's this red section, we'll go to our layers panel here on the side. If you're on a mobile device, you'll have to go to the bottom of the screen and it'll have a layers um, panel that you can select. And we're gonna take where it says hide this layer before use. We're gonna click where the little eye is and hide that. And then what we're ready to do is we're gonna take this specific design that we're using. If you're doing something that's across the whole thing, you're going to make sure that you right click and click duplicate. We're going to duplicate this twice so, since I'm going to be replacing these pieces twice. So I'm just going to move these out of the way. We're going to draw a box around our project. And what this does is it selects our whole project here so that it's ready to be used. And then what we'll do is click attach. What it does, it, cr it creates a cutout in here. So if you wanted this so that it just has a cutout, so this is the background and you'll remove all of these pieces and the white background of the mug would show through. If you didn't want it to look like that and you wanted to insert different colors, you can take these sections here and you can change it to whatever color. So um, say this is that blue background and we want this to be um, a different color on each section. So maybe we want this section to be pink and this section to be purple on top of our mug background. Now this one is ready. So this creates essentially a cutout for the shapes to go into. And then these are the pieces that you would insert on top of there. So when we're ready, we can go ahead and click make it. And what this does is it will select it to each project piece that we're going to work on. So here's the piece that we're going to insert. Here is our background that's going to have the cutout pieces. And then we have the other piece that we're going to insert. And just as a heads up, whenever you're working with infusible ink, you definitely want to click on the mirror option. What this does is it reverses your design. And because you're applying the mug wrap um, backwards, you need it to be mirrored so that way um, it cuts it the right way. So we're going to click back on our first screen. It's mirrored. And then you can select continue and select which um, material type you're working with. And it's ready to go. So if you're creating kind of a cutout and you want to insert something else into your cutout, this is the easiest way to do it. It's a very quick project to do. Um, and I always recommend whenever you're working on a project like this, um, if you pick something that has super, super tiny pieces, it's going to be a little bit harder um, to insert those pieces in. So 
Um, when you're doing lettering, just make sure that you're picking things that um, you feel pretty confident with being able to weed out and also place the new pieces back in. So hopefully this tutorial helped really quickly. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm always happy to help out. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.